We got this thing jerry rigged together. Holy shit. Two carburetors in sync here. Down to the rigged up turbo. It does pull. I have drove it, so don't underestimate it. Hopefully the two carburetors are going to work. We really need to hook up a fuel line. Go into the both carburetors. You need like a T or something. So it fuels both of them so I don't have to stop filling the one carburetor separately. But yeah, if I can get this bad boy a rolling, it'd be pretty sweet. Especially if I can get it worked out right and tuned up right. Then I can get this thing flying. I know before I'd have to like do my area over here. I oh, forget about the mess, guys. It's kind of crazy now. Yeah, my, my old antique dope bike. But like out here, I like I could get through like second, third gear. But I said third to fourth, I could get through there. But now it's like second. I can't really get into third just because it's how much power it's trying to push. Yeah, all this fucking trash everywhere. Excuse my language, people. Yeah, I'm trying to get the old Jeeperoo done. Jeepers Creepers, whatever you want to call the damn thing. Jet skis. Jet skis are for sale, though. Jet skis are for sale. But back to the fall weather. She's a little rugged. But yeah, she's a board over, so she's actually a 460. She has Sage 2 cam. Bigger carburetor, stuff like that. So she should hold the boost pretty well. I mean, like I said, I've rode it before with this setup on it. It runs. Not the greatest. Really gonna have to figure out a way to put the seat back on because that carburetor sits it way too high. Like I said, it's kind of redneck ingenuity, but it works. Alright guys, just keep following the videos and like and subscribing. And I try to keep it posted up. Like I said, it's a little crazy, a little dumb, but... Oh well, what can we do? We gotta have fun with life when we can. Alright man, see y'all later.